Hello there, kia ora. Do you know what it's like when you've got a pile of dishes that are sitting there judging you because you haven't washed them and you know you've got to get up and you've got to deal with them but you start to resent the fact that they're sitting there all judgy at you like, oh, soap me up, scrub me, let me soak. Because that is a horrible, horrible feeling. And the attitude that our Prime Minister took into negotiations with Winston Peters last year after the election which is one of the reasons why Winston Peters is starting to act out the way that he's acting out now. That and the fact he knows he can get away with it. You see, we know for a fact that Christopher Luxon didn't really want to work with Winston Peters. Instead of last year saying, I will not work with him, like the Labour Party did, he turned around and said, look, I'll work with him if I have to, but I don't know him and he is my least preferred option of people I have to work with, but I will if I have to which was one of the things that gave New Zealand First an in to be able to help boost their polling numbers in the lead up to the election. So Christopher Luxon did this to himself, but that means that Winston Peters knows that Christopher Luxon sees him as a need to have, one of those chores that he doesn't want to deal with, but has to. So it means that to really taunt Christopher Luxon and point out exactly who it is that's in charge, Winston Peters just has to make a little bit of noise and do something a little bit annoying to people that gets a bit of press coverage. And he's always done this. Back in 1992, Winston Peters was a front bencher for the National Party under Jim Bolger. And that did not go well when Winston started talking out about a lot of their policies and going against what it was that the party had to say. So they put him back to a backbencher. He quit after 300 odd days, I think it was, and ended up starting New Zealand first. In 1998, Jenny Shipley fired him from being Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Affairs Minister, which obviously did not go down well. That's an animosity that's lasted close to 30 years. That's a long time. In fact, well, Winston Peters, a couple of years ago when Shipley was convicted of fraud, turned around and said, I've been trying to tell people for decades that these people are completely inept. He said that this person's incompetence and incompetence of a number of party people with the national actually shows that they don't understand or represent the country. And that kind of attitude is the sort of thing that Peters has a lot of impact on. He does not like the idea of politicians going in there who don't represent his point of view, but also don't know what they're doing. And Christopher Luxon, as a pretty basic MP who didn't have much political experience, definitely falls into that category. But... Winston Peters knows Christopher Luxon cannot do anything about it at all because he will lose the job. He will call a snap election if he tries. So Winston Peters is still free to go around making the same kind of rhetoric he's been doing for years, anti-immigration stuff, jumping onto the anti-woke conspiracy fueled bandwagons that have managed to get him a few extra votes and show exactly what it's like when old man yells at cloud becomes the kind of 3D representation that nobody wants to see in Parliament. But again, this is all Christopher Luxon's own fault for keeping that door open instead of ruling it out. And Winston Peters is one never, ever to be underestimated. As both Jim Bolger and Helen Clark said during the negotiations for the coalition, the one thing you need to always remember about Winston Peters is that you need to at least respect him. Because if you don't, you're not going to get anything out of him.